We're halfway through the year, June is done, and another month of great iOS and Android releases has happened. Today, GameRanks brings you the 10 best free iOS and Android games of June 2016. Number 10 is Grow Castle, which is a very simplistic game, but it's a lot of fun. Essentially, your responsibility is upgrading your castle and your warriors that are occupying the castle in order to deal with waves of enemies that net you experience and the ability to upgrade. It's got really visually pleasing graphics, especially for some random Korean game, and might I add, because it's a random Korean game, the English in this game is atrocious, but for me, it came off as charming. I enjoy all the really, really bad translation. There are a couple of wonky, buggy, glitchy type things, and like I said, the English is very, very bad. But it's one of those games where the negatives kind of work to its advantage and make it charming if that makes any sense, and I have to recommend you at least give it a try. I enjoyed it a lot. I think it's not necessarily an everyone game, but for the people that are going to like it, they're really going to like it. Number 9, one of those entirely new spins on an old concept is Sky Force Unite. What essentially plays like an old school turn-based RPG, albeit with the addition of a card dynamic, this plane-based sky game definitely felt refreshing, especially since I love turn-based combat and I love pixel art, but I am getting a little bit tired, and when I say a little bit, I mean very tired, of the random Final Fantasy knockoff stories that everybody has been trying to do since Android was created, and this is something that takes those concepts and brings it into an entirely new realm. Is it perfect? No. I would say sometimes the battles seem borderline impossible, and I don't mean like I had a tough time with them, I mean like they seemed impossible, and the gold system is a little bit frustrating for me. But it was also one of those games where I was extremely refreshed just to play it, because it had a familiar style of play that I enjoy very much, without feeling like the millionth rehash. I would say this is a must play for anybody who likes mobile JRPGs. Number 8, Fury Road's Survival. Survivor, which, by the way, is not technically related to Mad Max Fury Road, but it's also hard to get around exactly how similar it is, and I'm gonna go ahead and say I don't care, because it takes all the best parts of old school Grand Theft Auto, and I mean PlayStation Grand Theft Auto, police chases, and puts them in a world that looks a lot like a Mad Max wasteland type thing. But it's not for copyright purposes. Let me just say this in no uncertain terms. This is a gorgeous voxel-based game. If you're looking for the perfect example of what one of these games could and should look like, this is it. And it is beyond addictive and fun to play. This is one of those rare games where it kind of comes out of nowhere and it's by somebody you've never heard of, but it's fun as hell. I downloaded this the second I saw the icon, and although there are some minor issues that may cause the game to crash on your device, the developer is aware of them and is working on them as we speak, and I personally was not disappointed in this download in the least. Number 7, Transformers Earth Wars, which is a little bit late of an entry into the Clash clone genre, but let me tell you, this is probably one of the better ones, in that it has a story and a lot more units and a lot more upgrade capabilities for individual units, and treats everything in a much less generic way. You feel more like units are characters rather than dispensable. Battles pretty much play out like you would expect them, and it's a solid entry into the genre. My only real issue with the game is that I've played it before a hundred times. It doesn't bring anything astoundingly new to the gameplay, it just has refined it to a point where it's definitely a great example of the genre, but there's more than a few people who can't take another one of these. That being said, if you can take another one of these, this is the way to go. It's a shining example of the genre. Number six, Ninja Awesome is an action endless runner that essentially gives you a pretty wide array of movement based on simply swiping and evokes the Super Nintendo in its look and old PlayStation platformers in its sounds. And you do get a healthy dose of nostalgia in that effect, but the game itself is very new school, it's very timing based, and the pace may seem a little bit strange to players that first drop in. In fact, there will be some that probably won't get used to it, but for those who do, think somewhere between an Endless Runner and Ninja Gaiden, and I think you have something that's gonna waste a lot of your time in the future. Number five, Red Dungeon is an absolutely slick in its presentation, Endless Dungeon reaction tester, so to speak. In some ways, it's kind of Crossy Road, in some ways, it's Legend of Zelda, and in still others, it's Super Meat Boy. You'll see influences from all over the 
the plays in this game. And my only real criticism is that sometimes the game is so unbelievably stupidly hard, and it's a definite spike in difficulty because the game itself is generally not so much that way. It's dark, it's pixel art, but for whatever reason it has a really slick feel to it. I think it's somewhere between the motion and the lighting, but it feels upscale, and if you can handle the random difficulty spike, this is pretty much as good as dungeon games get on mobile. Number 4, Blaze Blue RR, which has a subtitle of Real Action Game, and it delivers on that subtitle in that this is basically the quintessential beat-em-up, but it is a beat-em-up that was definitely created with a lot of care and with artists that are really good. The pacing is just right, it's not too fast, and it's definitely not slow at all, with a great combo system, and in many ways it feels like Final Fight, but in many ways it seems like something much more modern. And I have to say, particularly if you like games that look like they were made by SNK way back in the day, this is probably the way to go. That and it's fun as hell. Number 3, Sky Force Reloaded is a scrolling shooter that I missed the original Sky Force 2014 and have to say I definitely regret because this is a genre that doesn't get enough really good games and this is exactly that. With incredibly stylish graphics that combine 2D sprites with 3D environments and a pacing that just feels exactly right. Sky Force Reloaded adds a lot of upgrades and buff cards and really good bosses with a fantastic soundtrack, but look out, it's a bit of a battery hog. I would say that's a small price to pay for such a great game though. Number 2 Nonstop Night is an action RPG with perhaps the slickest production of any action RPG on mobile right now, but incorporates a lot of great arcade elements as well. Like a lot of free games, it does have the free to play model. It's one of those games where there's really nothing to complain about, it's really solid, has phenomenal graphics, presentation, and gameplay pretty much on lock. There's some annoying free-to-play stuff, not a massive heap of it, and it's really just worth your time. And finally, number one is such an incredibly unique game, it's difficult to class it, but Rodeo Stampede Sky Zoo Safari is essentially a ride animals through a stampede and capture animals for your Sky Zoo game. If that doesn't sound familiar, it's because I've never seen anything like it, and while that's not always a good thing, in this case, it definitely is. The Rodeo Stampede itself is incredibly fun. It's fast-paced and has very easy to pick up crossy road-like controls. It's not difficult to learn, but difficult to master. The art style kind of mimics Crossy Road, and the animal collecting elements from various zoo games are also on display. This game is essentially a big merger of a bunch of ideas, as far as I'm concerned, and it successfully pulls it off. There's really nothing else quite like this in one app on mobile right now, and I think that that alone makes it worth at least a try. I think that if you enjoy mobile games, you'll probably enjoy Rodeo Stampede, and I certainly did myself. And before we let you go, we've got one bonus game for you as well. It's Farm Hero Super Saga by King, which you know as the creators of Candy Crush. It is another variation of the Match 3 game, but King does do a great job with these games. Which mobile game did you like most this month? Let's meet in the comments and talk about that. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. And if you're not subscribed, now's a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every single day of the week. The best way to see them first is, of course, a subscription. As always, we thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Falcon. You can follow me on Twitter at FalconTheHero. And we will see you next time right here on GameRanks.